Want to know the top three mistakes new virtual assistants make that cost them not only time, but money? Well, I'll share those three mistakes with you today. I'll also tell you how to prevent making those costly mistakes in your VA business. If this topic resonates with you, then don't forget, subscribe to my channel and please hit that notification bell and like this video and comment. Let me know if you have any questions about becoming a virtual expert. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, a business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual assistants. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid VAs. On this YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a VA career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. Let's get started with mistake number one, setting prices too low. Many, many women undervalue their services. They think things like, I'm not an expert or I'm not qualified to charge higher prices. Well, the solution is assess your skills and knowledge and set your prices based on that reality. If you have a tough time assessing your own skills, research to find out what the going rate is for VAs who provide the same service you do. And ask professionals, experienced VAs, for their opinions. They're going to be able to assess your skill level. Mistake number two, chasing the hot skills. You know, you've bought into the field of dreams mindset. If you believe, if you build it, they will come. Because here's the truth. High paying clients will not find you simply because you've learned the hottest new software program. So the solution is stop taking skills training. You already have all the skills you need right now. Instead, focus on learning how to find, get, and keep clients. Mistake number three, getting stuck in analysis paralysis. If you are having trouble actually taking action to get paying clients, you're stuck there. The solution, focus on progress, not perfection. You can make a lot of money while you learn and become an expert in your area of specialization. Mistake number four, making your business low priority. As a woman, this is a tough one because we're not used to putting ourselves first. The solution, set specific work hours and stick to them. Start your work on time, even if you don't have any clients yet. If friends or family come over or ask you to do errands, let them know you're working. And if you can do the errand outside the work time, fine. Mistake number five, waiting for the perfect time to start your business. There never is a perfect time. The solution, don't let fear or indecision keep you from starting. Ask yourself, when is now the perfect time to start? Want to learn more about becoming a high paid VA? Click the link below to watch my free webinar. And also remember, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.